Hey guys, Dr. P here, talking Korean entertainment. Actually, we're just going to talk about something in general today. <clears throat> Let's talk about auto-tune. Auto-tune. Everybody seems to use it these days. Everybody. In fact, some folks, when they have to actually sing on a TV show, without auto-tune, can't do it. I find this baffling. In my day, there was no auto-tune. It did not exist. Singers sang. If they could sing, fine. If they couldn't, not so good. Now, we used to, <laughs> if you couldn't sing really well and you had flaws, what you would do is you either turn up the amp with your electric guitar, add some distortion, or hide your flaws within backing vocals. That's how it worked. No auto-tune. You had to be able to sing something. The greatest singers of all time didn't use auto-tune. The Frank Sinatra's of the world did not use auto-tune. You want to go to rock and roll. Um, <laughs> Miljenko Matijevic from Steelheart. Koreans love him. <sighs> He's the guy that did uh, She's Gone with that getting higher and higher. No auto-tune. That was his voice. That's the way it was done. Today, you don't have to know how to sing. If you're pretty or you're handsome and you can dance a little bit, you can sing some notes and they'll auto-tune it, get it back into where it sounds halfway decent, and you're off. And you're a star. I'm sorry, guys. That's not good. <coughs> I mean, after all, G-Min just proved that's not good. G-Min was on Music, music Core, whichever one it was. At the end, they have an encore where they sing live. The first part, it's already taped, probably with auto-tune, and it's put on. But they sing an encore, it's live. Jimmy couldn't do it. He sang off-key. That's my point. Guys of my day would have not sang off-key. They, they knew how to sing. They knew what they were doing. So, what do we do? How do we get back to... Singers who can sing without having a machine help them. I know. How about we have music writers that actually write? <laughs> this thing they call sampling has gotten way out of hand. Way out of hand. They're not sampling a little bit these days. They sample a whole song. They take a whole song. They take the melody line. They take the chorus line. They just change the words and they say, ah, oh, no big deal. It's our song. No, it's not. Some really big name bands have done that. And I have the proof. And that's the thing that I find fascinating. You can take one song and lay it next to the next song. Listen to one, listen to the other, and they sound, I'm sorry, exactly the same. Except the instruments might be different. Obviously the vocals are different. And the lyrics are different. But the melody line is exactly the same. Somebody stole that from somebody else. I don't want to go with names, but a famous female did that to another famous female. The one female was Korean. She stole it from an American. What do you want me to do? Say it didn't happen? If you listen to both songs, they're the same. They're the same. Somebody actually argued with me. said, but the lyrics are different. What's that got to do with anything? Then you stole the song. You just admitted you stole the song. You stole the melody, changed the words, and put your name on it. That's bad. So now we have singers who can't sing and writers who cannot write. The only thing good we have is choreographers that make it work. And big agencies that have enough money to throw around that if there's ever a problem, they just pay somebody off and they continue to march. And then say, oh, no problem. Nothing to see here. But there is. Because we see it. Okay. Anyway. That's my Sunday take on auto-tune, which is ridiculous. And, of course, a little bit of plagiarism that goes on in the K-pop. All pop industry. K-pop too, all pop industry. Let's, let's make that clear. So, like, subscribe, argue, give me your opinion. I love opinions. I don't hold anything against you. I just think it's awful that today's music does what it does. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.